everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today, I've got the pre-race roundup for the Mexican Grand Prix in 2022. But before I get onto the news from this week, I'm going to briefly go over the US Grand Prix, as I haven't really had time to talk about that yet. So, the US Grand Prix was a really good race. Lots of lead changes, quite some quite strange pit stop mess-ups, particularly on the side of Red Bull with Max Verstappen. That really surprised me. They're usually incredibly on the ball with their pit stops, but one of them really got messed up. I don't know what happened there, but yeah, it was a really good race. Um, Max Verstappen did go on to win in the end, with Lewis Hamilton in second, even though he was leaving for quite a bit. I was hoping he'd keep the lead, but Max Verstappen was, frankly, just too damn quick. It was unreal. Of course, we have the terrifying Fernando Alonso Lance Stroll crash. Now, for those of you who don't know what happened to Stroll and Alonso, Fernando's car caught, uh, caught the rear tyre of Lance Stroll's, basically, and I think what happened was, as the tyre was moving, it pushed the front wing up into the air, sending Alonso into a bit of a wheelie. And as you can probably guess for an F1 car, that ain't good. That is not good for them at all, which knocked Lance, Lance Stroll out of the race, but not Fernando Alonso somehow. Yeah, beats me too, I've got no idea. And also, <laughs> to honour Dietrich Mat Mataschitz, Red Bull did win the Constructors' Championship for the first time since 2013 with Sebastian Vettel behind the wheel. It's been that long. And of course, as I predicted, Max Verstappen did dedicate the win to good old Dietrich. Rest in peace. But now on to the Mexican Grand Prix. Now, there is a, only a couple of bits of news about this weekend. One, we still don't know what's happening with Red Bull and the cost cap breach. Yeah, this is getting kind of frustrating now. We also know that Max... We, but we do know that Mexico is staying on the calendar until 2025. So, big congrats to the organisers of the Mexican Grand Prix. And to Mexico as a whole. We now know what's happening with Audi in 2026. They're replacing Sauber. Yep, they're not partnering with Sauber. They're just straight up getting rid of them and replacing. So, in 2026, Sauber will be gone. After 31 long years in Formula 1. So, sad to see Sauber go. But on the other hand, it's time for a change. And Audi could be quite good for the sport. Some people are even speculating that Mick Schumacher may have a place there in the future, including his uncle Ralph. And speaking of Mick Schumacher, we still don't know what's happening with him next year. There was no press conference on the week, on, on the US Grand Prix weekend, as was highly speculated and rumoured, so we still don't know what's actually happening to poor Mick. Now, another rumour to come out of this week is that apparently... Porsche, while not partnering with Red Bull in 2026, could potentially end up partnering with Williams. Yeah, you heard that right, guys. Williams, Williams Porsche could be a thing. Possibly. That is just rumour right now. Nothing's been confirmed or even mentioned by Williams or Porsche. But, but that is the rumour. Williams Porsche. Yep, I know that is insane, but you never know. It could be true, it could be completely false. Who knows? Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for my pre-race roundup and post-race roundup of the Mexican and US Grand Prix. So please, like this video, subscribe to my Roxanne's and Frost's YouTube channels. Their links are in the description. My sub button is down there. Yes, that big red one. Unless you've already subbed, then it's grey. Thank you for that, by the way. And once you've done that, please click the three bells to get all three sets of our notifications. Comment as well, because... Why not? And let me know what you thought of the US, the US Grand Prix and who you think is going to win the Mexican Grand Prix. Once you've done that too, please follow me on the socials. There'll be a link tree in the description. I'll be going live on stereo on Sunday at 6pm UK time, by the way. And once you've checked those out, please check out Roxanne's website and Frost's Instagram. And lastly, please share this video with all of your friends so they can join the infinite loop of liking, subscribing, commenting, following and sharing. And around and around and around that loop. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Goodbye.